Well, it's a hot day in Bangkok. Surprise, who would have thought that? It's exactly what I thought it would be. This is gone. It absolutely just doesn't get it. It's all starting to take shape. Thank you, barbecue gone monster. Well, it's a hot day in Bangkok. Surprise, who would have thought that? Um, and it's lunchtime. So I thought we'd do a little video today. We're gonna go and have some uh, Thai barbecue. Thai barbecue is something that is a little bit new to me because I've been mostly eating like Japanese barbecue and then sometimes you have Korean barbecue. But more recently, I've been getting into Thai barbecue. Um, the main difference is different flavors and it's a different sort of setup. But let's just go and see it because it's super popular here. There's chain restaurants all over Bangkok. So let's go see this green monster called Gon and uh, have some barbecue. So this is where we're going, the old barbecue plaza. They're all over Bangkok and I've never actually had it before. And I'll be honest, I don't really know how it all works. This is Gon. Gon is the, uh, the barbecue monster, I suppose. I don't know what he is, but you know what? If he loves barbecue as much as we do, he's my friend. So I'm not sure how all this works, to be honest, because none of it's actually in English. See? That's okay. Let's just go inside and we'll figure it out as we go along. Hopefully someone in there will tell us what to do. All right, let's start with drinks. That's something that's really easy to figure out. Start with the easy stuff. Oh, I love a refill drink. Here we go. The butterfly pea and lime juice. I love that stuff. Yes, I'm totally getting that. That's what I'm gonna get. Okay, so I've sort of figured it out. There are set menus, but you can order like individual bento boxes. So there's some premium porks and there's beefs and, and chickens and all sorts of things. So pick your different um, box and uh, go from there, I guess. Make your own set. And that's exactly what I've done. I've picked a couple of random different meats. Um, so I've got some pork, I've got some beef, um, a couple of vegetables, you know. Mix it all up and see how it is. All right, here is my understanding of how it works. So we've got like this water boat around the middle. We're gonna put our meat up the top and around the sides, they give you this like cabbage that you put around the sides. And as you cook your meats, it's gonna make a really nice soup and a little bit of a flavor and go into the cabbage and you put vegetables in there and stuff like that. So then you eat it like that. So you're gonna get barbecued meat and you're gonna get the bonus of um, a flavored cabbage soup sort of a thing. Yeah. Thai barbecue, my friends. So when your food comes, you also get a piece of fat, which you rub over the top to make it all nice and slippery and oily. So here is all the food that we've got. What a buffet. Oh my God. And look at the cute little smiley faces going into the soup. Hello. Who doesn't love barbecue in Thailand? So cute. It's all starting to take shape. How good does this look? But the question is, is it any good? Let's try it out. Here's a bit of pork for us. Yeah. It's exactly what I thought it would be. Delicious. So I think there's two types of people in this world. Those who like to cook food for themselves when they go to a restaurant because it's a bit of fun and others who absolutely hate it. My brother is one of those people who absolutely just doesn't get it. Why would you go to a restaurant and cook your own food? It makes no sense to you because you're paying for it. Um, he wants to cook for him, but I love this. I think it's just a whole heap of fun. Um, cook and barbecue for yourself. I'm having a great time here having lunch. 
So what am I liking and what am I hating? Okay, look, I think it's nice, um, but it's not wowing me to be perfectly honest. The meat doesn't have a lot of flavour. The sauces that it comes with is, you get a garlic, which is nice, put a bit of garlic on there, that's always good. Some chilies. And it ultimately comes down to this sauce, which is their signature sauce. And you know, it's not bad, but it's not great. Don't get me wrong, the meat does have flavour, most definitely. You put a bacon on there, and you taste bacon, it's nice. Um, but, I don't know, I feel like with Japanese barbecue, there's more sauces to choose from. Um, I feel like it just needs some more sauces or something. Um, to give it a bit more flavour because it's kind of just getting all a bit one note-ish um, but overall, you know, it's fun and I'm liking it. I'm having a good, I'm having a good lunch but um, it's not wowing me. Can I just say, moving forward in life, every fish cake I eat, I want it to have a smiley face because it just brings me happiness and joy. Look, I can't say it's the prettiest looking barbecue but the soup at the end, once you've cooked all your meats, yeah, it's not too bad, my friends. Not too bad at all. It's got a bit of flavour. Okay. That's enough for the barbecue business. That's enough. We've got one last thing to do. Cockadoodle poo. Here's my review. I'm going to give the old barbecue plaza one cuck, two doodles, and two poos. Make of it what you will. Thank you, barbecue gone monster.